wonderful evening welcome everyone tonight to another live broadcast my name is Isaiah Phillips I can't allow I want to especially welcome you tonight if you're connecting with us and for those that will be listening to us later on on, on the radio on our uh, um, radio uh, audio broadcast well I also want to especially welcome everyone tonight this is a special night this is a night that we've been waiting for as a time the spirit of the lord has prepared for himself to show himself mighty and strong among his people even as we continue to delve into the heart of the father in relation to the preparation of his church and uh, engaging some of the prophetic uh, uh, you know demand of the lord for our for our day and for our time creation of course is still groaning waiting for the manifestation of the sons and daughters of god i'm so excited for the fact that heaven has given us another great opportunity to be alive and to connect with that which the spirit amen is releasing for the building and the equipping of the saints even as we move further into the position of divine confluence I want to especially welcome everyone tonight uh, tonight by the grace of the Lord we will be laying the foundation for our <clears throat> excuse me 2020 uh, prophetic leadership school this is um, uh, uh, you know uh, an initiative that has been on my heart for a while of course last year we we're not able to um, you know bring this training across to the body of Christ due to several uh, uh, um, situation of course that was beyond my you know uh, um, you know my control but uh, this year I believe the Spirit of the Lord amen has given us the grace and the capacity to you know to push his, his, his mind you know further into a place where everybody can at least speak the signal of the spirit and have some clarity and direction in terms of how the spirit of the lord will lead us to you know to to engage in this in this season and time so I, i'm excited because of uh, the several things the lord amen is showing us and revealing to us and we want to by the grace of god make sure that many of the things the spirit of the lord is emphasizing that we have a clear understanding and we lay those understanding well, amen, upon the right foundation that will allow us to, you know, advance in the light of God's purpose. Thank you so much, uh, Brad Derek, tonight for connecting. I'm just basically in, still introducing, you know, what we want to do, what the Spirit of the Lord has laid upon, you know, our heart to carry out in this unfolding season of a new day. This is a decade where the Lord has spoken strongly to us about a restart a redress amen and a realignment of his counsel and purpose his prophetic counsel and purpose and so i believe that um we need to develop what i call a multi-dimensional grace and capacity right for for those who who are used to my teaching i used to me you know using the phrase we must become like the cherubims <laughs> i love that i love that concept because in the in the in the in the ministry of the cherubims, you see the four faceted you know uh, um, capacity and expression of of the Lord, Amen. And uh, I remember a few days ago I was saying that these are days where the prophetic speakings of God, Amen, is unfolding to us on various levels. The Lord is speaking. That there's a, the speakings of God are coming to us on various layers, on various dimensions. So we we don't have to just you know be focused on one aspect all right and, and forget about the rest we've got to have what i call the ability to to hear the the speakings of god the the, the expressions of god the de declarations of god that is coming all right through various you know uh, uh, um, you know dimension must become well uh, uh, established in our hearts so we've got to develop the earring ears the seeing eyes amen the, 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 the grace to, to easily grab what the Lord is saying, amen, and to know how to align and how to connect. So these are all things the Spirit of God <clears throat> will have us, you know, know and understand and, and, and begin to track and apply within the structures of our own spirit man. So, uh, you know, while I'm still very aware that we're not done with the teaching we're doing on, uh, 
you know the book of you know uh, nehemiah we're still dealing with the reformation of nehemiah but i began to see the connection that all all that the, the spirit of god is saying and speaking to us at these various layers amen now we're beginning to talk about you know introducing a prophetic leadership school all right and of course we're still dealing with the reformation of nehemiah we still of course laying the foundation and advancing in terms of prayer and what you call advanced intercessory spirit all of this that the lord is speaking to us and of course the various personal dealings of god in our own life are all factor but all of this speaks into one reality amen of of god's you know uh, uh, you know in desire for our time and for our day all right and we have to be well equipped you know just before i you know i came to the studio i was looking at the concept of uh, uh, what the bible called the mighty men of david i mean that word just hit my spirit the mighty these are not just ordinary men the bible called them the mighty men of david is like these are super you know supernatural extraordinary guys all right so these are things the spirit of the lord is 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 highlighting in my own spirit so when we talk about prophetic leadership school of course the world today are in deficit of leadership all right and of course if you look at what has been happening to the church we will see that there's a deficit of leadership many people are talking about leadership many people are talking about you know what needs to be done but we are not seeing the kind of spiritual capacity that matches the demand the complex reality of the day so if there's anything that we need to inject amen, into our concept our philosophy amen of of leadership is what we'll call the prophetic spirit so one of the things that we're going to be teaching amen in in this in this training all right is how to advance how to grow how to mature how to develop amen in the nature amen of the prophetic all right uh, for those who who joined us two years ago when we did when we deal with this uh, 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 training we emphasize more on the spirit of the prophetic rather than just the function of the prophetic because uh, it, it, once you develop amen the, the the spiritual state the spiritual nature the character if you will of what the prophetic is it's so easy to function it's so easy to carry out amen the 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 expression of the prophetic so i'm not gonna of course this time around again i'm not gonna focus you know more on just the function because function is what we do it's supposed to be you know our default expression our default life so i'm gonna be you know you know majoring on the spiritual aspect how to grow in that spiritual you know a uh, 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 prophetic nature because by by you know by by birth amen by our spiritual birth we're all born to be prophetic and and i'm gonna be speaking along all you know along that line there's so much that we're gonna be talking about you know but tonight i'm just basically trying to introduce lay the foundation and also kind of you know give us an orientation into the school all right it's going to be touching into excuse me we're going to be touching different area and this school is going to touch almost every aspect of life because to deal with life in the days we're living amen we have to be prophetic all right and i will explain what that is you know one thing i love about the material that you know we, we put together is that it deals with almost every aspect that you can think of that the prophetic represents or that we represent in terms of what the prophetic is and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna be sourcing our resource amen from the spirit of christ himself the bible says the spirit amen the spirit of christ the, the spirit of christ is the spirit of prophecy the testimony of our lord amen is the spirit of prophecy we dealt with that you know two years ago we're still going to be looking into that amen this 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 year but generally what i want to do tonight because I, my battery is, is a bit low so i'm not going to take too much of our time all right I mean, I only have about, you know, 35 minutes there about to, to speak. So I'm going to try as much as possible to make it brief. But what I want to, you know, do tonight, like I said, this is this is an orientation. And of course, tomorrow, I'm sure we're also going to still going to continue with the orientation because orientation is very important. If you're going to dumble into any sphere of life, you're going to, you know, step into any in any area of knowledge if you're going to develop capacity you have to know amen the the the, the modus operandi you have to understand how to approach what what are we talking about so basically what i'm going to be 
doing amen in the next uh, you know half an hour is just to give us why we need why we need to be prophetic in the days we live in it's important all right that we understand that more than ever before all right we need to step into what i call amen the spirit but not just to step into it if we're already in it that's fine for those for those of us that are already in the prophetic then we need to develop what i call an advanced position amen of the prophetic life all right prophetic life will allow us to be able to see and and and, and walk in certain dimension that gives us you know a, a, a advantage a position us in a vantage position amen so that when these issues that are happening left, right, and center are buffeting men, we are ahead. You know, I, I was thinking about something yesterday. I haven't shared some things in terms of, you know, the, 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 the life and the ministry of the prophet. Of course, I dropped some keywords just there on my, on my timeline. And, and one of the things that the Spirit of the Lord, you know, you know, drew to my attention is the prophetic is like, you know, you're living in 2050. You're living 2050 in 2020. You know, you're 30 years ahead amen, of, of your peers, of, of your day. Of course, that would be very difficult for people to relate with you. And if you're not careful yourself, it would be difficult for you to relate to it, you know, with, with people. Because heaven is speaking and dealing with you about, you know, things that are coming. That's the basic, basic understanding, basic, basic foundation of the prophetic. The prophetic is ahead. All right. I, I want to stress this. The prophetic is not just speaking about what is coming. No, the prophetic is ahead of time. <laughs> the prophetic is always ahead of time. It, it, the prophetic doesn't, while well, the prophetic function within time, but it, the prophetic is always ahead of time. And that's why you will discover that you cannot, we cannot really begin to say we, we are prophetic or we understand what the prophetic is if we, are, if, we are, if we have not been birthed in the spirit of a watchman. The watchman spirit, amen, is, is the forerunner, amen, is the way maker, is the one that leads what, amen, we term, what we define to be the prophetic. And I'm sure as we look into this powerful, you know, relevant ministry, we are going to be seeing that many of the things that people term and define to be the prophetic, in fact, is not. All right, but that's that's not our focus. All right, when when you highlight truth, when you proclaim truth, when you when you shine light, darkness cannot but to you know to flee. So I'm I'm not going to be focusing more on what is not what is not the prophetic. No, we're just going to highlight and, and proclaim and declare and allow the word of God to speak to us regarding what the prophetic is so that when we see that which is fake, all right, it's easy to identify even without us saying anything. Like I said, the presence of light is the absence of darkness. Every time we shine the light, darkness cannot but to be exposed, to be expelled. All right. So, so these are some of the things that hopefully by the grace of God, we are going to be looking into but like i said what i want to do you know this this evening is to introduce us is to give us a kind of you know why reason we need to you know uh, uh, enroll you know uh, just this in our uh, afternoon while i was telling my wife that or i was i'm starting the prophetic leadership school again and she's asking me who, who are the students and i said the students are there online they know themselves all right, I'm, I, we don't to, to begin to like. Okay, we want to put out a form out there for somebody to fill. And oh, I mean, those are good for administrative purpose. Those are good, but guess what? I don't think you know. I want to start to do that. Amen. Anyone who is questioning and yearning and want to grow, all right, in the things of God, and believe that this man has got something to offer. Amen. Will by default, amen, enroll themselves and, and, and offer themselves, offer their time. You, you know, this is something we have to have sight into. Many are called, few are chosen. All right. Hopefully, maybe in the future, because this, this of course, this is not going to be the end of this training. Maybe in the future, we will we'll have more, uh, 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 if you will, more organized structure. And we're working towards that. But that is not what matters to me because you can have you can have the best of the best administrative structure and still not be impacting the heart of those who are yearning so what we're doing is we're casting the seed we'll continue to cast seed that's our ministry to cast seed 
There are many times, all right, the Lord has spoken to us to cast the seed. You know, you know, say, he said, cast your bread upon the waters. Just cast the seed out there. As long as they are falling on good ground, amen, they will yield forth the right kind of fruit that we need. So I, I'm not going to bother myself more on, you know, taking, you know, a, a, a reg, 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 registry, who is there, who is not there, who, who is enrolled, who is not. No, for those who enroll, amen, will always make themselves available. All right. Remember, I'm talking about orientation and those who actually see, you know, the need. All right, to partner with what we're doing because of course this this has taken so much from me in terms of time in terms of resource in, the, in terms of research and all that to put all this material together and we will still continue to give these things out for free but for those who say now we see what you're doing we appreciate what you're doing we want to partner with it well god will speak to their heart because for all i cry for all i care i can cry and scream amen until my lungs grow god knows what if people don't want to give this they still want to give but when the lord touches the people and say you 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 have received so much all right they say the minister spiritual things to you i mean it is is it not wise for you to minister back to the, you know to them kind of things so if for those who want to minister kind of things to us and say ah i want to be a blessing to 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 what you're doing they're more than welcome to do that and of course the lord will bless them because the bible says amen he who gives amen a prophet a cup of water will receive a prophetic reward there is there's a reward in blessing amen the the, the servant of god the things of god particularly those who are who, who are authentic who are not just you know doing things just to scrape people's heads so we don't do that we believe the lord that god will continue to speak and steer the heart of people all right to support all right we, we're not gonna say okay for if you want to enroll in this school i know this kind of training that we're doing in some place that will charge people one thousand two thousand all right and of course give them some certificate that will not do them any good we passed that stage we have passed that stage we've passed that stage long time ago so we will continue to resource the body the lord amen is our help our help comes from the lord so we but we but we're also you know appealing for anyone out there who says okay we we want we want to be part of what you're doing like the material we put out amen on nehemiah's reformation i tell you there is none like it i'm not boasting this is a world-class material that can be used i mean you can People can use it for training and development, personal development, corporate development, nation building. All right, the entire book of Nehemiah summarized, well built, well informed. I'm still, in fact, yesterday I just, I just finished, you know, the second, ed, you know, editing. You know, I'm still editing it. So for 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 people who have read it, okay, you maybe you find one or two typographical error. It's just a typographical error, but there's no error in the revelation. So, but I'm trying as much as possible because I'm still doing all this thing by my own, by my, by myself. Hopefully, the Lord will give us grace and capacity. We'll have people that can take up this thing and say, "We want to do the editing of these materials because we've got so much resource." And I'm saying to myself, before, 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 before I leave this earth, I want to give out everything the Lord has invested in my life for the for the furtherance, Amen, of the kingdom of the gospel. I want to see the kingdom of God, Hallelujah, manifest. In the life of people but that will only happen when those who have been resourced and empowered are really amen releasing what heaven has given to them amen into the body and using that too because there's so many lies out there that people are preaching in the name of kingdom in the name of you know the prophetic in the name of the apostolic as long as people package these things and they're looking all well dressed and you know they have good language and they can they you know they they've, they've learned marketing and they can sell the they can sell what they're selling people will buy it but we've passed there there is a ministry amen that comes from the sweat of men but there is a ministry hallelujah that comes from a dimension without sweat the bible says the priest must not sweat no passport no perspiration no perspiration sweat is of is of human effort that's why the priest must wear a linen effort that thing that thing demands that you sweat you don't want to sweat you you die <laughs> so so we cannot we we're not buying and we're not selling we are promoting the kingdom of god and we will continue to do that the lord has spoken to me freely have you received freely give all right so the needs the lord will meet but god will touch men to meet those needs so that's just by the way in terms of those maybe who would think okay uh, uh we want to give okay you've got the opportunity to do that or or how much will this material cost us well we don't sell the material of the material that i'm using for this school all right 
in fact i think part of it we have it on online we have it online or at least for the old edition there there are new updates in the ones that i'm using now so but that is still there i could still remember that I was supposed to be, be in, a, in, a, in a place to do some training and uh, we, we got this material ready to give to the people for free there are those who have god wants to touch their heart to be a blessing can be a blessing and if they don't want to give that still fine will still be a blessing to the body of christ ours is to to continue to resource the body of christ potter's gate is designed amen to resource the body of christ this is not a one-man show this is not just for a few group of people this is a ministry to the body we will continue to resource the body empower the body bless the body equip the body so that the body can grow amen in all things in christ jesus we want to we want to grow a people that will come into the full stature we bring we bring in people amen into into that realm amen of the of of of, of the ethos we, we we bring the people into the ethos of christ into the community of christ into the what is called the body of christ the the body's one hallelujah and that's what we want to do all right so so we we're looking at some few things the bible talk about the mighty men of david and the bible talk about 380 men amen that you know came out of the house of abraham whom abraham used amen to challenge to fight to to advance to charge against amen these four kings that took his nephew wow what what a, what a capacity abraham carried what a reality of a life that we have to emulate in this day where the spirit of god is calling us to build his house that out of the house we are building we can have a capacity we can develop a man a spiritual you know a, a position that 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 will bring forth you know cali a caliber of men who have what it takes to charge against amen that which stands against the counsels of god all right the same we we we, we saw amen, in the life of gideon all right Three, three, you know, thirty, you know, thirty-two thousand people, amen, were reduced just to three hundred people, who God used, amen, to deliver His people. So these are all highlights that I'm just, you know, you know, bringing out of of my head of what we're trying to bring forth. We want to train, we want to empower, we want to develop a quality of a of a, of, of, of a leadership system, amen, that amen can come out of what is called the house of Abraham that can come amen out of the order of gideon that can come amen from the house of david that god can use these people amen and i could remember sometimes we talk about the one man commando there's a caliber of people there's a group of people that amen there 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 is not of of community in terms of god's intervention god will raise them people like people like zechariah excuse me people like zechariah yes people like nehemiah amen people like ezra even though Ezra and Nehemiah at the point they began to work together people like John the Baptist people like Elijah of his day amen these are one man in the commando in their time that God spoke to them and they were able to go like John would say I am the voice of one within that one there are multitudes of voices speaking and expressing amen the prophetic intentions of God for his day and for his time wow we want to we want to build amen within the heart of men this this spiritual technology all right and as i'm speaking my words are, are, are not just mere words they are words that is releasing the spiritual amen uh, 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 reality that will imprint within the heart of those whom the lord amen has called many the bible says many are called few are chosen so to be chosen means that we have to you know offer ourselves amen in training in development to be part of this quality of a kind of a people amen that to either represent god as a company amen of of you know of men and women who who define what god is doing as a corporate church or this people might just be a dimension of an anointing that goes forth on the solo reality amen go out there they make a difference i mean you know we've been looking at uh, 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 neymar neymar was just one man and God used the grace, the capacity, the tenacity, the depth, amen, the, the sense of, you know, of, of awareness and the sense of presence, the sense of representation, amen, in the life of Neymar to change, to rebuild the entire Jerusalem. Wow. Wow. What about Esther? Just one woman, amen. 
just one woman just one woman so so we 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 want to beyond just declaring or and releasing this these teachings we also want to impact because heaven has given us the grace the spirit the authority amen the 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 the, 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 the leeway amen to imprint this capacity this spirit into those who are really traveling who want to journey with god who, who have left who have left amen the you know the the, the shore who have left amen their place of of convenience uh, who are searching who are tracking the heart of god amen who are journeying the straight and the narrow path so we want by the grace of god to be able to impart and imprint this thing into their lives amen just like the bible says when when abraham returned amen from from the slaughtering from the from, you know from the slaughtering of these kings the bible says he met malchizedek and we've spoken about Melchizedek, amen, that this is a dimension of a priesthood in the earth. In the earth. Melchizedek priesthood is still very much alive and well in our day. And that's why heaven is taking us, bringing us out of amen, the organized church system. God is bringing us out of that death system. Heaven is bringing us into a dimension where we are being plunged into a realm of a life that can represent God's prophetic intention and miss the noise that we're seeing, that we can begin to point fingers and direction to people and say there is a different priesthood that you have not heard of. There is a dimension of a life amen, that is strange from that to which you, which you know, which has been defined to you as a church. There's an order called in the earth, the Melchizedek priesthood. And the Bible says this man whom the, the Bible described him as, as a king, as a prince of Salem, without father, without mother, uh, hallelujah, that humanity could not connect, amen, could not trace, could not just relate. Because, you know, one of the things that we, we, we want is, if I can relate with it, then I believe in it. <laughs> if I cannot relate with it, then I reject it. But this, this dimension of a man is, is a man, yet is, is, a, is a being that is representing amen, a different sphere of a life ever called the church into. Melchizedek is a shadow amen of the new testament order amen of, of of kingdom ministry and the bible says abraham met melchizedek and he presented to him bread and wine that was a recognition of authority unfortunately that is something that we no longer see nowadays abraham the father of faith was able to recognize a dimension, a reality of a ministry, of a life beyond his own realm, beyond his own capacity as an authority in the earth. That when he met this man, he presented to him bread and wine. Bread and wine. So we, we believe the Lord that heaven will continue to open the scripture to us in such a way that will align our hearts, amen, to the prophetic expressions of god in the air there's so much the spirit of god is releasing that i'm not sure we have the capacity to contain all of god to contain all of that which the lord is is, is releasing to us so we 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 want to tap into god's truth into god's heart into god's mind and draw and draw amen what is required for us in this day to stand out and do what amen heaven will have us do like we saw in the days of Noah. He lived within the contradictions of his day to produce the prophetic intentions of the father in the earth. What a life. Abraham, the father called him out of his own, his own natural father's house, his own country. He said, leave your father's house, leave your kindred, come to a land that I'm going to show you. The prophetic, amen, was what God used to lead Abraham out of the known. And direct him into the unknown dimension. God said, I will show you. That's the prophetic. There was a call to come out. Whenever there is a call to come out of the old. Out of that which has decayed. That has become obsolete. And God begins to say, I'm going to show you. Then you have to ex accept amen, your blindness. Blindness must become your default in order to walk with God. So if you accept that you're blind. Then you can be. Jesus said, because you say you see. He said, then you're blind. So it is God showing us when they called, you know, saw and plunged him into three days of spiritual, <clears throat> spiritual reorientation. By the third day, they opened his eyes. 
and began to show him a different path, a different direction of existence. These are all spiritual, you know, platform that defines to us the framework of how we are called to live life within the day where God is judging the systems of men. Within the hour, amen, where the spirit of the Lord is moving in his mighty power, judging that which men have valued and celebrated. There is a new order of, of community, church, emerging out of the judgment that we are seeing in our day. The spirit of God, amen, is proclaiming and declaring. Look up, your redemption, amen, is drawing there. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight his path. So we're saying all these things, we're expressing all these things just to prepare our heart. And there are several scriptures, like I said uh, uh, earlier, that the Lord amen, is highlighting just to basically give us an orientation. Now, one of the key scriptures that you know stood out for, for us in Porter's Gate here all right, is Isaiah chapter 2. That is a scripture that our ministry, our work, amen, is established. And this 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 scripture lays for us, amen, the framework and of course the spiritual you know capacity that allow us to begin to move into the divine intentions of God. Our work has got a clear prophetic objective. Our work has got a what a clear, a definite, clear prophetic objective. Alright. And this is what personally I live for. And if need be, I'm going to die for it. I live, I live for nothing else than to see, amen, this scripture become a reality. All right? And this scripture will continue to allow us to tap into the various multidimensional strength and grace, amen, uh, of God in, 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 in establishing the counsels of God within, amen, men in our time and in our day. Thank you so much, my dear sister Tina. Hallelujah. Welcome. Now, in Isaiah chapter 2, the scripture says, this is what Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw. I want you to look at that word. He saw it. That word saw means Ishazar. He, he didn't just see it from a natural, physical, human point of view. He said, okay, I'm seeing a building there. No, that, no that's not what he saw. He saw something, amen, that defines Finds that capture the vision of the future the vision of the future that speaks into the intentions of god I, i've made this i've made the statement you know yesterday i'm going to make it again in fact I, I i made the same statement some few minutes ago the the prophetic amen is futuristic by design now what that means is not like the prophetic is looking into the future no the prof the prophetic lives in the tomorrow <laughs> the prophetic lives into tomorrow the prophetic lives in the tomorrow. I, I live in the tomorrow. I, my life, everything about my life is not in the now. All right? I've lived this day. I've lived this day, amen, yesterday. I've lived this day yesterday. And that's how it should be for those of us, amen, who are growing, amen, in the spirit of Christ. If, you, if you're growing in the spirit of Christ, have you noticed that they could not kill Jesus? They couldn't hold him. They couldn't stop him. That before, you know, people begin to plan to want to harm Jesus is aware of it. He will say things like why do you doubt in your heart? Why are you thinking of this in your heart? <laughs> All right? he, he knew what would happen before those things happened. Why? Because he's forever communing with his father. He said only what I see my father do that I express. So he lived within the father. Listen to this. The father, yes, lives within our past, is in our present. But the father expresses himself within the context of our future and that's why when we pray we must understand this this must become the 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 the, 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 the framework that defines our life because if you live your life amen in the presence you will get discouraged the things that you see the things that are panning out the people that are disappointing you the situation that is buffeting your life will deplete your strength amen will tell you you, you are no good you don't have what it takes because you see humans humans base their strength energy and capacity on the now we look at now we judge now we judge we judge our life by now and that's emotion emotion is always now what you feel what you feel now but you see faith lives in the tomorrow <laughs> oh jesus faith lives in the tomorrow you see i may not have today and i must not judge myself based on my present state if I judge myself based on my present state, then I have compromised. I have compromised the prophetic intentions of God for my life. 
That's why they keep saying to the man, go jump again in the water. He said, but I've, I've done it. They say, go back again. Because there is something about you going. And you, 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 you see, you can't go back and do what you've done. No, you go forward. You have to go forward. Go back and do it. He, 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 the guy jumped, you know, six times. By the seventh time, he came out of the water. <laughs> His skin was looking like that of a baby. You see, the prophetic is is, is, is is projecting into the future. That's why you must have certain quality, certain capacity, certain dimension of existence, certain belief, certain philosophy must guide your life. You must be you must be progressive by nature. Hallelujah. You 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 must be you know you know pressing to us. The prophetic is, is a breakthrough mentality. You're breaking through, you're breaking through barrier. You see. Joseph was given a prophetic vision. He was given a prophetic word. And he had to be going through all kinds of resistance, all kinds of imprisonment, all kinds of, you know, challenges, lies against him, everything that you can think of to stop him. But that which was given to him as a vision kept pressing him forward, kept pressing him forward. The same with David. Check, tell me that person in the scripture. I will show you the prophetic, you know, uh, 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 technology that, that kept that person alive. You see, so we have to look and we're going to look at this. The, you know, what I'm just doing basically tonight is giving us an orientation. I'm just laying, you know, foundation for us. Why? Why we need to be prophetic in our day. And like I said, what the prophetic is or means, all right, just basically is to have what is called the spirit of christ by nature if you're born of god by nature amen you're prophetic meaning that everything that defines the structure of your spiritual state amen is 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 interconnected is interlocked amen to the nature of god to the to the to the system that that is eternal the bible says amen we are born of the incorruptible seed <laughs> And an incorruptible seed that seed amen carries the potential to bring to pass all of god's prophetic intentions for your life the seed amen of redemption in us amen is 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 the key that allow us to step into god's divine objective god's divine program for our life but that thing grows it grows it increases it develop so if you don't grow if you don't develop amen within the spirit amen of your regenerated life you don't get to know you don't get to discover hallelujah the things that have been programmed within that seed because every 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 fruit every tree come on every forest is within the seed so if if you don't understand and value the seed of your redemption then you will never be able to rise up into amen god's program for your life god's intention people say i don't even know why i'm, I'm alive i don't know my purpose it's because you've trivialized you have trivialized amen your your your, your redemptive inheritance is a seed the seed must grow the seed must grow that's why jesus had to be born as you know as a child as a baby we watch that seed grow the bible says and the, and the seed grew amen and have favor with god everything amen about god grows So the scripture said in Isaiah chapter 2, which is our key scripture, you're going to be hearing a lot as we, you know, delve into what is called the prophetic, you know, uh, uh, spirit and the prophetic uh, ministry. This scripture is going to capture the the, the, the the summary or this the, the, the objective, this the summary objective of, of God's plan for our life. The scripture said in Isaiah, this is what Isaiah saw. All right, this is what Isaiah saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. All right, we're going to be talking about the restoration of yes, Jerusalem and Judah. Remember what was burnt down. You see, this brings this brings this brings me back to what I was sharing earlier. All right, I will gotta have what I call a multi-dimensional capacity. All right, to capture all of the speakings of God. This is the day where God is speaking in a multi-layer. You know, a, 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 you know process or will if you will god is speaking from different layers he's speaking to you about something then he's speaking to you about something else he said but but i'm still trying to process this thing just absorb everything the lord is saying it will all make sense 
So as God is speaking to us about Nehemiah, now we're introducing the school, then we're still talking about prayer, and then we're going to be talking about something else. All of that, amen, are all streamlining into that concept where the river are all flowing back into one stream. <laughs> The four rivers are all flowing back. So all of the streams of God are coming back to Eden. Eden is a place, is a place within our spirit man, amen, where the life of God, amen, becomes expressed, becomes, you know, uh, 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 fulfilled, where the things of God, amen, find expression. Yes. The river flow out of out of Eden. They are flowing back to Eden. We are we are the modern day, we are the living Eden, we are the sons of God. What makes Eden special? Because amen, there was a man God placed there called Adam. When Adam compromised the intentions of God, he was driven out of Eden. Eden was shot. <laughs> they, they put an angel there with you know with with, with, with a flaming sword. You got the got the place. They couldn't trace it till today. Nobody can find where Eden is. They're still looking for a place. Our people have become Eden because now he's living in us. Come on, friends. <laughs> I'm just I'm excited. Well, when I you know, these are my default. When I when I touch things like this, it, it brings something deep out of my spirit. Hallelujah. This is what Isaiah saw. This is what Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. There are things we're still going to unlock that deals with the dimension called Judah. The house of praise. Jerusalem, the house of peace. We're coming into certain realities in the Lord. Now, the expression of what we've been talking about in Nehemiah, I'm going to be connecting the Nehemiah and the prophetic school. I'm going to be connecting them. In fact, this evening, what I'll say, I said, Lord, I'm not done with Nehemiah. You want me? This school is going to start. God said, go ahead, start. They are all connected. They are, everything is in, interconnected. There is nothing God is doing amen, in this last day that are not interconnected. Everything is interconnected. If it's by the Spirit of God, it's interconnected. All right. If a man of God is speaking something in America and or somewhere in Australia or somewhere in Korea, amen, and he's, he's, he's speaking by the Spirit of God, I tell you it will connect with what Isaiah is declaring here or with what somebody else is declaring in Ghana or somewhere else. Because the Spirit of God, amen, is speaking one thing, but everything, amen, is flowing from different signal, but all, amen, is connecting to one order, one source. The Lord does not contradict himself. All right. So we can connect, and you're going to be seeing that as we did, we we further deal with these things. You're going to be seeing the connection because for, already we're seeing the connection. We're seeing the connection. We're when we're starting our prophetic school now. We look, we're reading Isaiah. All right, we're laying a foundation as an orientation. We're already looking at something. All right, this is what Isaiah, Isaiah, Amen, the son of Amos saw. That was so powerful. Amen. That was so alone is a whole teaching on the prophetic. All right, there are there are about four or five words, amen, that means different things in terms of sight when it comes to the prophetic. And this word saw is one of the most powerful words because it deals with amen to see beyond just the physical state of things, to have amen, a clear insight into heaven's eternal objective, and that galvanizes you, that pushes you. To begin to align to what God has ordained for that situation and begin to pray them and begin to walk to us that which will bring that thing into reality. This is what Isaiah saw. All right. That in the last days, have you noticed the word last days? There's plural. That in the last days, so this is something that has begun to happen. That in the last day, the mountain of the lost house. Now, mountain, of course, we know in, in, the, in the scripture symbolizes of first people. All right, symbolizes of people and an establishment of God's council. Mountain represent Jerusalem. All right, mountain represent the place of God's government, the place of the expression of God's authority in the earth. That the mountain of the lost house, a place of divine administration, the place of the expressions of the values of God, amen. The place where decisions are made, amen, that shift things in terms of God's, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, objective in the earth. That the mountain of the Lord's house, the Lord's temple, is a, is a mountain, but is a place that is sacred. 
All right. It's a, it's a mountain. It's a business, but it's sacred. Come on, Isaiah. It's a mountain. Amen. It's a company of people, but it's sacred. It's a mountain. Hallelujah. It's a, it's a, it's a home. It's a, it's a house. Hallelujah. It's a marriage. It's a relationship, but it's sacred because God dwells there. The mountain of the Lord's temple. The mountain of the Lord's temple. The mountain of the Lord's temple. So they're going to be, they're going to be, ah, la, la, bashianda. They're going to be an expression, amen, of, of the government of God. Wherever God dwells. The Bible says, and the Lord is the spirit. And where the spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord is given leeway, is given expression. There, hallelujah, God is. There, God commands his power. There, God commands his authority. There is liberty there. Liberty is an expression, hallelujah, of 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 the of the of the of the authority of the li of the grace amen to set people free liberty is an expression of the jubilees of god amen it is it is it's, it is the it is the completion of the 49th year that brings us into the new day into the last day that is called the fifth day or the 50th day where the things of god gets to be open in the earth it's called jubilee in some places they call it Pentecost. It's a time for freedom, for liberty, and to enter into amen, a new realm, a new position of authority and power in the earth. To step into certain reality where the things of God amen, begin to open to us in a different light, in a different way. Amen. That's why God said, the Lord told them, He said, tarry in Jerusalem. <laughs> We're talking about Jerusalem again. There is something about Jerusalem that is coming to the fore in the days we live in. We've got to understand it. Jerusalem is going to be our place of stronghold, our place, amen, of, of advancement. And of course, it's going to be the place where we'll be launched out to represent the position of divine authority in this last day. The kingdom of God, amen, is advancing. Remember I said some time ago, I said the things of God, amen, a, 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 a movement in seasons all right they're like a cycle once that what once that cycle is complete amen another order of god begins there are several circles that must be complete in sevens all right the first circle must be complete the second circle must be complete the third circle when you get to the when you get to the seventh circle which basically is a type of jubilee the 49th year all right the next circle that must that must that must take place which is the beginning of the 50th year earlier becomes a time of liberty freedom jubilee advancement now that is where we are right now this 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 decade amen is the decade of a new day of a new beginning amen this is the this is the 50th year or the the new day the 50th the 50th year amen is the new day hallelujah of jubilee jubilee is 49th year amen this the, the the last year amen brings us into a new day and this is what is happening right now in 2020 so this is very prophetic 2020 is, is very very prophetic if you're doing something you want you want god to accelerate it that's why you see that god is buffeting the world system yeah in the fifth year god judges those amen who enslaves his people god judges the paths of darkness god god brings his people to freedom and liberty god allows his people to step into abundance and victory amen and capacity and breakthrough Amen. It's a year of abundance for the people of God. Why, amen, people are dying in Babylon. Why people are crying death, amen, in Egypt. In, in the land of Goshen, <laughs> people are rejoicing. I, I, are you are you guys tracking why the why we, we, we why the spirit of God is emphasizing that we we begin to look into amen the the, the, the the need for people to understand what the prophetic is because you're going to need the prophetic to be able to step into certain dimension. You're going to need the prophetic to boost your faith. Because certain things, God will begin to tell you about certain things. You're going to be asking yourself, nobody has ever done this in my family. This is this is huge. They said, no, we'll call him Zachariah. They said, no, 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 no. Not in this new day. No, 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 sorry. You're not going to call him Zachariah. His name is going to be John because I'm doing a new thing. He shall be great. He shall be a prophet, hallelujah, among his people. His, his birth will be for the rise and the collapse and the fall of men. So as I round up, like I said, because of my battery, I'm just basically giving us an orientation. All right. So we're looking at Isaiah and the last day, the mountain of the lost temple will be.
the, the word is establish so God is going to be establishing us in this day there's going to be an establishment when something is established it means it becomes firm unmovable unshakable it's a time where we will be established in the things of God will be established in the present truth will be established amen in the in the expressions and the dealings and the speakings amen and the imprint of God's intentions for our life amen we will become more known we will become more visible amen to the spirit because when we become more visible more identified in the spirit our expression and posture in the earth hallelujah will make inroad and impact we're looking at all this thing the mountain of the of the lost temple will be established there's going to be an establishment establishment in our workplace establishment amen in in terms of god's prophetic program for our life amen in in terms of business amen in our relationship god will god will be bringing peace and strength into our life amen will be established in certain dimension that will grant us amen authority to, to do the biddings of God in the earth who will be established the mountain of the Lord you may say but but this thing is speaking about the the millennia yes yes it's speaking about the millennia but have you noticed that the prophetic is not stagnant have you noticed that the prophetic does not wait for a time frame for it to be fulfilled remember that in the in the in the days of Thessalonians the guys in the, the book of Thessalonians they were already talking about the comings of our Lord Jesus Christ you, you would think as if the lord was going to come the next day why because they're tapping into the prophetic amen you have to grow you have to grow in development you have to grow in in wisdom you have to grow in the grace of god you have to grow in the in the spirit of god in the sevenfold nature of god amen for the prophetic to become you see the prophetic becomes active when prophetic begins to see people mature oh jesus i wish you would, i wish you would get this the length of time for the fulfillment of a prophetic work of a prophetic work amen is not defined and determined by the by the kairos by the chronos it's not de defined and determined by the, the the longevity no 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 that you're waiting after all jesus spent how many, how many years on earth 33 years the guy spent 33 years he finished the job he was gone why because the 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 the, the, the level of obedience he offered to the father amen was good enough was qualified was quality enough was quality enough amen for for god to bring to pass his plan his redemptive purpose all right he wasn't wasting time you see we still waste time we still spend the next three years to think is god actually speaking to me okay so where does god want me to be all right now now okay i'm not even sure then you then you backslide for two three four years then after you finish backsliding then you realize wait a minute i must return back to the lord then you spend another 15 years of your life running around looking for god knows what is not there but jesus was focused you see focus is the fuel amen that that steers that steers amen our passion in in the fulfillment of god's purpose when you're focused you become disciplined you don't waste that somebody said to me a few days ago he said hey i i, I i'm just i don't know how you do it you, you 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 you've got this drive i said you know why i've got a drive because i've got a vision <laughs> i've got a vision in, I didn't come to South Africa to look at and count the, you know, you know, uh, you know the, the 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 bridge like they say. I look at the nice buildings. No, no, no. I mean, I'm here to fulfill the purpose of God. That's why I'm not. I'm not, I'm not here and there. I'm not where you won't find me. Where you know it's all. No, they say there's a prophetic conference there. You're not going to find me there. Are, are you saying you don't believe in the community of the saints? Of course, I believe in the community of the saints. But I don't run around. I'm not searching for something new. I, I, there's something heaven has given to me that I must carry up. And I'm running with it. You see, we get distracted by things that will only make us look, you know, uh, uh, feel accepted before people. See, when you're still trying to get yourself loved and accepted before people, then you, you want to do things to please people. I've, I've left that point. I, I'm in a day where I'm pressing into. I, I, I'm, I'm a pathfinder, all right? I'm 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 a way maker. I'm making a way. I'm a voice of one. 
You see, my ministry is totally different from how a lot of people define their ministry there. I'm not trying to sell a book, all right? I'm not trying to be popular. I'm not trying for people to know me and say, wow, what a great man of God. No, I don't want to be on SABC. If I'm, if I'm on SABC, it's because heaven has sent me there and I will have to speak as a servant of the Lord. Not as one looking for, oh, I hope they will, they will invite me again. <laughs> Many times I've been invited to ministry. They don't... Hardly would you find people invite me twice into a church. Because by the first time I get there, they would have regretted, oh Lord, why did we invite this man? Because all the agenda would have been exposed. Because I'm not like did somebody tell me anything. I just do what the what the Lord will have me do. I just do what the Lord will have me do. <laughs> so people don't want you, even when they say oh, we're gonna invite you again, no, they don't get to invite me again because they know this guy he just <laughs> is a bad deal. He's a, just a bad deal. And not that because they, they, they want to do it deliberately, you know, they, they need to guard what they are building because they are building something for themselves. See, you see, if you're building something for yourself, you don't want Isaiah to be there because Isaiah go, is going to mess it up. It's going to mess it up. We, we, we doing that which will exalt the name of the Lord. This is the day where we want to exalt Christ and Christ alone. He alone must be magnified. He alone must be seen, not man. Not your giftings, not your ministry. I was telling my wife this morning. I said, "You you cannot separate the ministry from relationship. If you if you want to, if you want to love the Lord, Amen. Your your ministry must flow out of the love you have for God, not the other way. Ah, you don't do ministry and then you say, okay, you've got another thing for God. No, no, no. Ministry flows out of relationship we have from God. It's from the place of prayer. They said to Peter, "Hey, men are coming. Follow them." You follow them. You see, if you do ministry out of relationship, you will always be, amen, within the beck and call. You will always, you will, you see, your, 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 your ears will always be, amen, on the chest of our Lord. That's John the Baptist. Excuse me, that's John, the beloved. He's the only one that was that was so close to the Lord that he could hear his heart, heartbeat. No wonder they could open his eyes on the Isle of Patmos. Only him saw the true ascended Christ. Only John the Baptist, excuse me, John the Beloved, saw the true ascended Christ. Only, only, only him. Except for Paul, who was caught up. There's a dimension of Christ that people still do not know. There's a dimension of ministry that we have not really understood yet, except we ascend. That's why, you see, the, the, ascended, gift, the ascended gift is not for fallen men. It's for ascended men. <laughs> Only those who have ascended will know how to walk and operate in the ascended ministry. The ministry is not for men, all right, to be conky, to be proud. It's not for men to feel like they've arrived. The ministry is to bring us to the into, to the place of death as we embrace the life of Christ. That when you hear the heartbeat of the Father, you know what pains his heart. You know how he feels about things, about nations, about people. Hi, you will weep. I weep. You see, when you have that kind of ministry, you don't care who comes and who goes. You don't care about who, who, who approves you, who doesn't approve you. Your heart is captured by God. You are full of God. You're still looking for other rooms in, in, in the other places where you can you can just put God there. <laughs> you feel God there. Allah la Bashar. We're talking about the temple of God being established. This is just an orientation. Just pray for me so that this my, my phone doesn't go off because the battery is actually low. But I've pushed this thing. I've really pushed it. As God, the mountain of the Lord's temple will be will be. It has not happened yet. So when you look at the state of the church, don't 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 conclude. It's not over yet, friends. Will be established, and it's been established now. Will be established. Listen. As chief among the mountains. Which mountain? The same mountain that was destroyed. The mountain, amen, that is called Jerusalem and Judah, that was destroyed, that was shattered. The scripture, the prophetic word has gone forth. It will be established as the chief. 
among the mountains it will be raised above the hills and all nations will stream to it so how do we build this kind of prophetic promise this is what we're going to be dealing with what we're going to be talking about in this school amen will allow us to begin to tap into that reality because that's a promise that every christian every believer amen must key into this thing has the capacity to keep you going all right so that is one then another scripture that you know comes to mind as we look at some of this orientation all right is 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 uh, uh, um there's another one where's that one that I, I opened in genesis i guess it's genesis 14 but i will talk about david excuse me abraham abraham out of out of the house of abraham out of the house of abraham all right you know 318 men were raised to go deliver lot now i'm interested in what abraham infused and imparted into the life of these men that 318 men were able to 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 take an entire amen four nation army four nation army what what did abraham imparted what kind of grace please don't tell me it's some physical physique don't tell me that oh these guys were warriors they know how to fight of course they know how to fight so so that also gives us a, a different perspective about father abraham father of faith that guy's a warrior he trained 318 guys who went to and, and you know back in those days those guys they fight bloody they they, they deadly four nations four nations brought down by 318 guys how do we tap into that leadership spirit that discipline that grace that we find in abraham that was able to impact these guys the bible says from his house so you see there's a quality of a house that we have to build in this last day that the people that come out of our loins they have what it takes to face the midianites the jebusites the canaanites the perizzites the philistines all of these heights that we can take them down that you can get men from your house that you have imparted this is what i did Amen. For 22 years plus, when I was training, you know, I, you know, guys in Nigeria, when I was a pastor, I was telling them, I'm training you guys for something. Something is coming. I'm training, I'm preparing you guys for the future. If you ask many of the guys who know me back then, 7 a.m. in the church, I begin our training class. 7 a.m. in the morning. If you are there, quarter past, you're already late. You see. I, because I, back in those days, I, I saw something about the future. I saw the future of the church. Initially, it was difficult. But late, they later adjusted. You have to sacrifice. That's why 80% of the people we trained back then, many of them today, have become ministers of ministers. They're doing great things. Doing great things. All over the world, doing the work of God. And you'll never hear me call say oh that's my son in the lord i'm their papa no i don't do that why would i do that <laughs> are you getting this friends so we're building something here we're training we're we're empowering a generation that will face the goliath of our day that will face amen the wickedness of our time we're building we're training we're imparting people we've done that here too when i was in journals but we've done that we had the training school when I came here to French we did the same thing. It is my desire that we will take our training to as many places, amen, that will open up for us. We don't seek, we don't beg, amen, as people see the grace and they invite us, we will come there. <clears throat> so if you want me to come to your end, I'll be more than willing. I'll be more than willing to do that. We'll train five, we'll train ten, we'll ten, train hundred, we'll train twenty. We have crash programs three days we have seven days we have sometimes one month <clears throat> as the spirit of the lord will lead us all right so the, the days before us are days that require amen skillful men the bible says david led the people amen by the integrity of his heart 
and the skillfulness of his hand. This is what we're about. This is what Potter's Gate, this is what Zadok leadership in a prophetic school, amen, is going to be bringing to the fore. We want to raise and train capable men, people of integrity, people with, you know, clean hands, people with pure heart. The Bible says the pure in heart will see God, all right? Somebody was defining what that means, the pure in heart. Pure in heart means to be single-minded, not to be double-minded, all right? You cannot be pure. You're, you're here, you're there. You're looking here, you're looking there. To, to be pure means to be single, single-minded. Purity of heart. Purity of purity of heart, purity of intention, purity of purpose. Our problem is, all right, we, we mix God with something else. All right, we talk about God, but behind that talk, there is an agenda that is self-driven. There's an agenda that is, you know, self-motivated. So God doesn't move. And if God doesn't move, we'd rather go to the witch of Endom <laughs> because we need the power. Because they always say, God, people relate that to power. But they don't understand that the power of God is expressed amen, in purity. You want the power of God. And the power of God is not just to raise dead people. The power of God is to have a standing without being judged, without being cast out. When you have a standing with God, you have amen, a position of divine representation. All right? So those are things that we're going to be... Let me quickly uh, uh, round up tonight. Like I said, tonight... I, I, I've already done one hour. God help me. <laughs> Those are things that we're going to be looking into. All right. But to, to, just to, you know, to close. All right. Amos, 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 Amos 9, 11 says, Amen. The mountain of the lost house will be, excuse me. All right. The tabernacle of David will be restored. All right. In the last day, God is going to restore the tabernacle of David. So these, these principles are concepts. Amen. Are speaking into why we need to have this kind of a training this kind of spiritual empowerment this kind of spiritual program that will adjust if you will update maybe upgrade but i know one thing it will advance our position i mean within the structure of what is called the prophetic so we're going to be defining all that remember i've not done any definition we have our, we've got a whole material was that look at the material again yes this is a hundred page a hundred page material hundred page material 99 with the cover page is hundred so this is no joke in fact i'm not sure if i'll be able to finish all this because even the, the year before that we did this training we didn't finish it we did not finish it couldn't finish it but I'm believing the Lord that those who will be desiring to hear from God, to want to grow, to want to develop, to want to empower themselves, to want to update their prophetic amen, uh, concept, to want to separate the noise amen, from the sound, please join us. So uh, we're going to try as much as possible to make this flexible so that everybody who wants to participate can participate. Please tell your friends. They want to connect. They want to join us. The materials will be available the audios will be available available of course the videos will be also be available so please continue to pray for me all right that we won't have any issue all right and that all that we need will be provided to to make sure that this training you know go you know uh, smoothly but tonight i'm just going to round up all right there's still a lot to say but let me just leave it here just for you to think about the things we've we've we've, we've, we've said tonight all right this is just an orientation to introduce our prophetic leadership school please there's a reason why we connect the two the essence for the prophetic amen is to develop leadership spirit leadership spirit amen is different from just being a leader anybody can be given a portfolio amen to you know to to do something or to go do something no 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 we're not talking about just doing something leadership is first a state of being leadership is first a quality state of being is a spiritual state when you develop when you are empowered when you awaken amen into what is called a leadership spirit via what i call the prophetic spirit have you noticed how i use the spirit 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 because these are all things that i establish all right you, you don't just function that's why you see people they give them leadership position you see somebody very committed in the things of god the moment you give that person a leadership position that person goofs that that person you know fumbles you wonder but 
why before you were given the position before you were given that title before you were given that portfolio you were committed why is it that when all right now that you're given a you know a a, a, a title you're given a portfolio you're given the you know the title a pastor or something suddenly you begin to mess up yes because people who think leadership is just about authority and position and office and titles all right are the people that the devil uses to compromise the things of god that's why you hear you know that that apostle that that you know that prophet somebody few not too long ago a uh, couple of weeks ago was asking me so how how do i refer to you uh, do i call you because i don't want to offend you do i call you a prophet do i call you an apostle do i call you what i said well titles are basically connected to how people you know see you relate to you or how you've impacted the people people's life i mean people that i trained that i that i pastor for you know half of my life i mean i've been ministry since i was in my you know early 19s so what, what happened to those people call me pastor till today they call me their pastor i'm their pastor and there are some people that call me you know my father they i'm their father even though i tell them don't do say no 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 say but you give but to us you you are father the people like that i cannot i cannot say no i'm not a father to you i'm their father because i i, I travel in birth until christ be formed in them so to 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 those who i'm a father i'm a pastor all right and then there are those who know me as you know when i came to south africa many people back in those days they know me as you know as one who function in the apostolic so they call me apostle but then there are those who, who know me as a prophet at least those who have heard me say okay my calling i'm not an apostle i'm a prophet by calling but that doesn't mean that i don't function in the, in the apostolic grace but the fact that somebody functioned in apostolic grace doesn't make him an apostle so you see why am i saying all this title means nothing to me so i said to this person i said look i'm just brother i'm fine with brother isaiah because it doesn't take who I am from me. I'm still a, I'm still a prophet. I'm still an apostle. I'm still a pastor. I'm still a father. <laughs> you understand? It doesn't take anything from me. Neither does it add to me. All right? It is what you see in me that defines what you get. All right? You cannot, you cannot take from somebody you do not honor and respect. You will never get anything from that person. Jesus could not do much in his own hometown. Why? Because of their unbelief. So it's not a man can call himself Reverend Doctor Apostle Bishop Canon. Listen to this: if the people does not see grace and honor and tap into what you carry, all your title means nothing to them. <laughs> so that's just by the way, Father, we want to glorify your holy name tonight. Thank you, Lord, for the grace that you've granted me to to lay the foundation we're kind of an orientation tonight of this training that we're about to start you said go ahead and start even while we're still dealing with nehemiah so many things you're speaking to us we recognize that we have to wear yes the face of the cherubims we have to be complete in our dimensions of position in the earth while we stand in the earth we also have a relevance in the spirit yes and we have eyes all around so we thank you we glorify you to, tonight oh god that your spirit will continue to guide and lead us into this glorious day this is that this is a glorious day that you have ushered us into and we will continue to manifest your glory and praise in there thank you oh god that the eyes of your people will see great things their ears will hear their heart oh god we perceive and conceive this new thing you will birth the seed yes of christ in them and they will go forth almighty god representing all of the fullness of your intention for their life in this nature call the prophetic we thank you oh god that we live in a realm oh god that is called the secret place that men cannot see that no power of darkness can trace we bless you we glorify you that the people emerge out of this glorious day representing your voice and your intentions in the earth we bless you oh god we glorify you for this in jesus name amen and amen thank you everyone tonight really really grateful and appreciative to have you connect all right with me tonight tomorrow by the grace of god if the lord help us we will continue all right we'll maybe have our second orientation and hopefully by wednesday or thursday we'll start the training properly but i'll try as much as possible all right to to release some uh, uh you know highlights i think that's what i did two, two years ago when we started the school 
try just give you some highlight and i just also discovered that i can actually post some uh, uh you know uh, uh what you call it now powerpoints you know on on facebook so maybe we'll post a few powerpoints you know of how we, we we connect with what the spirit of the lord is saying just to also give us you know a better understanding of where we are what we're doing so once again thank you everyone tonight for joining me for connecting with me thank you john abraham i see you thank you i guess this is the first time i'm i'm, I'm seeing this name connect so i appreciate the connection thank you so very much thank you my dear brother uh, gregory god bless you amen Belingelo, I'm sure I pronounced that very well. Belingelo, God bless you, sir. God bless you, my brother. Amen. My dear sister Tina, thank you so much. Brother Derek, thank you so much. God bless you, everyone. Have yourself a wonderful evening. Continue to flow, amen, in the grace and, of course, in the spirit of the prophetic. God bless you. Bye-bye.